Hello children, I hope you are all happy and safe. Welcome to this special English hour. Here every day we will learn something new in a fun and interesting way. We will sing, dance, listen to stories and have lots of fun together. Are you ready to have fun? Then come join me in a dance. बच्चों, टीवी के नजदीक आ जाइए और मेरे साथ एक डांस में जुड़ जाइए Can any of you do without speaking even for a day? क्या आप में से कोई भी बिना एक भी दिन बोले दिन बिता सकते हैं आई एम श्योर यू फाइंड इट इम्पॉसिबल वी ऑल लव टॉकिंग डोंट वी बट इवन वेन वी डोंट हैव अ लैंग्वेज वी कैन एक्सप्रेस आर फीलिंग्स राइट For example, when I make a face like this, you know I am happy. And when I make a face like this, you know I am upset. Right? So even when we don't have a language, we find a way to communicate to share what we feel. Languages are very important. Have you heard animals and birds around you? They too find it very important to have a language. Janvaro ke liye bhi bhasha hona bohat zaruri hai because that's how they express themselves. Have you seen a dog wagging his tail? Have you heard the dog barking? Have you heard a cow mooing? Have you heard the birds chirping? All animals and birds have a language that they understand. Would you like to understand their language? Then come, let's learn the animal language with Dr. Doolittle. Children, we will learn some new words today. Okay? I will give you a few words. Please note them down in your notebook. Try looking for these words in the lesson that we will be reading today. Okay? Alright. 
the first word is gracious 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 the second word is crumbs 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 the third word is porridge 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 the fourth word is language 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 the fifth word is scratch 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 children these words we will be seeing in the lesson as we read try to guess their meaning okay so what were the new words we listed today gracious crumbs porridge scratch and language okay children now that we have spoken so much about animals and how animals talk let's read a lovely lesson about this dr do little learns animal language that's our lesson for today please open page number 26 of your textbook please point to the words as i read and if you don't have a textbook please listen to me carefully okay let's start dr do little learns animal language now listen dr said polynesia and i'll tell you something Did you know that animals can talk? I knew that parrots can talk, said the doctor. Oh, we parrots can talk in two languages. People's language and bird language, said Polynesia. proudly if i say polly wants a biscuit you understand me but hear this kaka oi fifi good gracious cried the doctor what does that mean that means is the porridge hot yet in bird language children who are we talking about in the lesson here in the lesson we have dr do little who is a vet he is a doctor for animals and who is dr do little speaking with Doctor Do Little is speaking with a parrot. What is the name of the parrot? The parrot's name is Polynesia. What does Polynesia tell Doctor Do Little? Polynesia tells Doctor Do Little proudly that we parrots can speak in two languages. one is the human language where we can talk with you doctor and the other language is the one that we parrots speak in so that language is not known to doctor do little parrot polynesia tells doctor do little when i say polly wants biscuits you understand what i say 
But when I say Kaka, Oe, Fifi, Dr. Doolittle, now do you understand me? Dr. Doolittle was very surprised. He said, Good gracious, what does that mean? So Parrot Polynesia says, Yes, this is our parrot language. It's the bird language that only birds understand. Kaka oe fifi means is the porridge hot yet? Dr. Doolittle was very amused to learn about the bird language from Parrot Polynesia. Parrot Polynesia ek tota hai. Parrot Polynesia baat karte hai Dr. Doolittle se jo ek vet hai janvaro ke doctor. Parrot Polynesia, Dr. Doolittle se kehte hai ki parrots do bhashao me, do languages me baat kar sakte hai. Ek hai human language, insano ki bhasha. Aur dusri hai bird language, matlab pakshiyo ki bhasha. My, you don't say so, said the doctor. You never talked that way to me before. What would have been good? Said Polynesia. Dusting some biscuit crumbs of her left wing. You wouldn't have understood me if I had. Tell me some more, said the doctor all excited and he rushed over to the dresser drawer and came back with a notebook and pencil. Now, don't go too fast and I'll write it down. This is interesting, very interesting, something quite new. Give me the birds A, B, C first, slowly now. Dr. Doolittle tells Parrot Polynesia, My, you have never spoken like this with me before. Tell me more. Parrot Polynesia says, Even if I would have spoken with you in bird language, you would not understand. So, Dr. Doolittle rushes to his drawer and Dr. Doolittle comes back with a notebook and pencil and tells Parrot Polynesia, Now, slowly, let's begin with the ABC of bird language. I want to learn this bird language. Dr. Doolittle Parrot Polynesia se poochte hain ki tumne pehle kabhi bhi mujh se bird language mein baat nahi ki. Wo bird language seekhna chaate hain aur isi liye ek notebook aur pencil le aate hain aur Parrot Polynesia se seekhne ke liye tayyar ho jaate hain. So, that was the way the doctor came to know that animals had a language of their own and could talk to one another. And all that afternoon, while it was raining, Polynesia sat on the kitchen table giving him bird words to put down in the notebook. At tea time, when the dog Jip came in, the parrot said to the doctor, See, he is talking to you. Looks to me as though he were scratching his ear, 
said the doctor. So this is how Dr. Doolittle learnt about animal language. That day it was raining outside and Parrot Polynesia sat at the kitchen table and kept giving bird language words to Dr. Doolittle. Dr. Doolittle was noting all of them down. After a while, Jip came in. Jip is Dr. Doolittle's dog. And Parrot Polynesia said, See, Dr. Doolittle, Jip is talking with you. Dr. Doolittle looked at Jip and said, Looks like he is just scratching his ear. Parrot Polynesia ne bird language ke kai sare shabd Dr. Doolittle ko batai. Dr. Doolittle ka dog Jip jab kamre mein aaya, tab Parrot Polynesia ne unhe bataya ki wo aap se baat karne ki koshish kar raha hai. Par Dr. Doolittle to be khabar the. Unho ne Jip dog ki taraf dekh kar kaha, कि ये तो केवल अपना कान खुजा रहा है। He is just scratching his ear. But animals don't always speak with their mouths, said the parrot in a high voice, raising her eyebrows. They talk with their ears, with their feet, with their tails, with everything. Sometimes they don't want to make a noise. Do you see now the way he is twitching up one side of his nose? Dr. Doolittle asks Parrot Polynesia, What is Jip trying to tell me? All I can see is that he is scratching his ear. Parrot Polynesia explains to Dr. Doolittle, Animals don't always talk with their mouth. Animals also talk using their ears, using their tail, using their feet. Dr. Doolittle asks Parrot Polynesia, What is Jip trying to tell me? All I can see is he is trying to scratch his ear. Parrot Polynesia tells Dr. Doolittle, animals don't always talk with their mouth. They also use their ears, their tail to interact with each other and also with humans. Animals don't want to use their mouth always. Sometimes they don't want to make a noise. Parrot Polynesia Dr. Doolittle ko samjhati hai ki janwar keval bol kar hi apne aap ki bhaavnai vyakth nahi karte kai baar unhe shor ya awaz nahi karna. Isi liye wo apne kaan, apni poonch ka istamal karke apni bhaavna ko vyakth karte hai. Animals express themselves also using their other body parts like their ears, their feet and their tail. What does that mean? asked the doctor. That means, can't you see that it has stopped raining? Polynesia answered, he is asking you a question. Dogs nearly always use their noses for asking questions. After a while, with the parrot's help, the doctor got to learn the language of the animals so well that he could talk to them himself and understand everything they said. Then he gave up being a people's doctor altogether. Jip, Dr. Doolittle's dog, was twitching up one side of his nose. 
Dr. Doolittle asked Parrot Polynesia, What is he doing? And Parrot Polynesia replied saying, Dogs usually use their nose to ask questions. Jip is asking you, Don't you see? It has stopped raining outside. Like this, Parrot Polynesia helped Dr. Doolittle learn the language of other animals around him. Dr. Doolittle learned so much about animals and their language that he left being a people's doctor. Dr. Doolittle ka kutta, unka dog Jip, unhe sawal pooch ra tha. Ye baat unhe Parrot Polynesia se pata chali. Dheere dheere, Dr. Doolittle ne apne aas paas ke saare janwaro ki bhaasha seekh li. Aur unho ne insano ka doctor ka kaam chhod kar ke janwaro ke hi wo doctor ban gaye. Children, did you like this story? Wasn't it so interesting to learn that animals can also talk and they just don't use their mouth to talk. They also use their other body parts. What sound does a cow make? A cow moos. A dog barks. A cat purrs. And apart from making all these sounds to express what they feel, animals also use their other body parts. Many of you must have seen that dogs wag their tail and they usually wag their tail when they feel very happy. So like this, all animals have different signs of expressing what they feel. Dr. Doolittle found the animal language so interesting that he left being a people's doctor, a human being's doctor and took up being an animal doctor. He became a doctor for animals. Did you like this story? If you liked it, you can read more of Dr. Doolittle's stories. They are written by Hugh Lofting and they can be found in the series Stories of Dr. Doolittle. Agar aapko ye kahani pasand aai, aap aisi hi aur kahaniya pad sakte hai. Stories of Dr. Doolittle ki series mein, jo likhi gai hai, Hugh Lofting dwara. Children, I hope you all liked listening to Dr. Doolittle's story. Whenever you have a pet or even if you have a pet now or you see animals around you, won't it be interesting to try and understand what animals are trying to tell us? I am sure you will find it interesting. Children, till we meet next time, please take care. Bye-bye and stay safe.